Hello my lovely people, you're welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and according to the time you are seeing this video. How are you doing? I hope you are good. We are still on the gist from the palace of Oni of Ife. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If I return a subscriber, thank you so much. My God will continue to bless you. So the alleged information that uh, we are going to bring to you, this uh, is that... Kunomi was surprised as at what Ronke told her brother concerning her and the palace. You know that all this while that Onyofe is trying to bring back Kunomi, the Oloris are not happy about it at all at all. But there are people that is showing it so serious that personally I don't want it. Other may be think, uh, trying to stop Onyofe secretly. But there are people that is out that if it weren't coming out to Onio of face face to face to tell him that Onio, you are not going to bring this woman back to this palace because they know that if Kunomi eventually comes back to the palace, uh, they, are, they, are, they are in a hot soup. Because number one, since Onio of have been telling them to leave the palace, it, they, will quick, they will be very, very quick to leave the palace. Number two, all the Kayamatas and the Jujus that they have been bringing into the palace, uh, the prayers that Kunomi will pray in that palace, because I know that whenever Kunomi will come back to that palace, she will sanctify that palace with prayers. So that all the things that these people have been doing, all this Juju and the, all of that they have been keeping in the palace, in every corner of that palace, God will just come and just wipe it away with prayers. So that is another, another of their fear. Because for them to continue to stay in that palace till now, you know that they are not just there for nothing. Maybe they have something that they have been using to keep themselves. And that is why Onyofe is telling them to leave the palace and they are doing as if a, a dog is barking. Because I don't know whether will I said that I have, they have been using, seeing uh, Oni as nothing. That is why he will tell them what to do and they will just ignore it. Okay, oh, not just that though. I know that uh, Olori Ronke have been praying and they have been going to Juju to make sure that Kunomi never comes back to the palace. But Oni of Ife is very, very mean about Kunomi. Anyway, the other time we heard that uh, Oni of Ife announced the time that they, they, they are going to reunite. And that one is a very big paper to them. Okay, there's this alle an alleged information we heard concerning Oni of Ife, uh, Kunomi's brother that there is a contract that he's about to get. And it happens that Olori Ronke is in the head. As in, Olori Ronke can, can cause the, uh, the, the man to get the contract and as well as, as, well as making him not, uh, not to get the contract too. So because of that contract issue, we heard that one of uh, Ronke called Kunomi's brother and was telling him that, see, oh, you see this contract, you know that this contract is a very big contract, that if, if you get it, it is going to change your life for real. Because according to what we heard, we heard that the contract is a very big one. So if Kunomi's brother gets the contract, it's going to change his life. Mm -hmm. So Ron can I have to call call him and was telling him that I know you need this contract very very well. So Ronke told Queen Nomi's brother that they are going to have a deal that he should go and uh, tell Queen Nomi not to come back. In short, we heard that the, this Queen Nomi's brother is the type that doesn't want Queen Nomi to come back to that palace. Not because he, he did not like Oni of Ife, but because of all the things that Kunomi have passed through in that palace and he wouldn't want Kunomi to go back to that palace to continue from uh, all the things that they have caused her to continue from where she stopped so she was he was like he don't want Kunomi to go back to the palace so Mariam told this Kunomi's brother to make sure and tell Kunomi that she should not come back to the palace if there's anything that he's going to do so that Kunomi will not come back to the palace that he should go and do it, that after that, uh, that he should consider the contract done, that he's going to get the contract. And 
Kunomi's brother was like, what is actually happening? Which kind of thing be this one? This one no be juju. Hmm? Why did you tell me to tell my sister not to come back to the palace? Why you are already in the palace? Is that palace not okay for my sister to stay and it's okay for you? Or I was like, maybe they are, they are still planning to frustrate Queen Nomi if she comes back to, the, to that palace. But my happiness is that they are not going to stay in that palace when Queen Nomi will come back. So no fear was, oh, no fear, uh, Queen Nomi's brother was like, this woman, you are too mean. Oh. And the wickedness uh, he, he has been hearing about you is really true. Because uh, previously you used to pretend that is why Queen Nomi will come back to tell you everything that happened between him and the Queen Nomi. You will just be pretending as if you be a better person. But just look at just look at what she was telling Queen Nomi's brother. That Queen Nomi's brother should try to make sure that Queen Nomi never return back to that palace. Just for them to have Queen Oni of Ife all, all by themselves. The, the, the woman, the two people came into her marriage and scattered her marriage. And even sent her out of her marriage. You still want her not to come back. Is that not, is that not wickedness? So Queen Nomi's brother was like, this woman, you are, you are too mean. No? If it is because of contract that you will tell, you will want me not to, uh, to go and tell my sister not to come back to her husband, that means you can keep your, your contract. That is nonsense contract for me. So I don't know what you have to say in this whole issue. Ronke is seriously mean. Others are just pretending that they don't want Queen, that they want Queen Nomi uh, back to the palace, although they don't want her to come back. The other time, Ashley was like, she let her reconcile with Queen Nomi as if she said she'd be a better person. And the, how can you even try to reconcile with Queen Nomi that you frustrated out of the palace? Is it to reconcile with her so that you start from where you stop to frustrate her again? You betrayed the, the, the trust she has uh, on you. You see, you still want to come back now to continue where you stop. Anyway, it's not going to happen. So Queen Nomi, even if she gets the heart of Jesus, I don't think she's going to accept any of these olories again in her life because uh, something will not happen to a person two times before that person will know something. So Queen Nomi better learn something and know that these olories are her enemies. Yes, enemies of her, uh, of her life and her destiny. The Lord had destiny that she, should, she will be in that palace and possess her possession and be the Yeyolua. But all of them, even Ron Kesef is also trying to get the, to, to, to be called the Yeyolua. Upon say she knows that it no reach her. Anyway, she are my people now. So with the here, I'm, I don't know what you have to say, but whatever you have to say, just drop it on, uh, on the comment section. I just wish to bring this gist to you and I promise to bring more to you. Just bear in mind that, uh, that they are all alleged. We are not there at the Palace of Elefe Kingdom. Thank you so much and love you guys. Bye.